scenario, the International Space Station with a mass MS is orbiting Earth about 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. Given that Earth has a mass of ME and a radius RE, the question asks, what is the new approximate acceleration of the space station due to the gravitational force exerted by Earth when the new Earth has a radius that is 90% of its original? The answer. This is the equation for the acceleration, which is g is equal to big G me divided by the total radius, which is 400 times 10 to the third plus re. This can be explained in the previous video, which is called acceleration on an orbiting satellite above Earth's surface. I derived this for you. In this problem, the radius change because now it's 90%. So we still have these values from before that we can plug in, but the RE is new. The new radius is going to be 0.90 because this needs to be in a decimal for us to multiply it to the radius of Earth. Earth has an original radius of 6.4 times 10 to the 6. Once we multiply it by 90% or 0.90, the new radius of Earth is 5.76 times 10 to the 6 meters. This is going to be the new radius of the Earth. So essentially, the Earth is now the Earth is now smaller. Earth is smaller in size. We can now plug in the values like before. And the answer here is G is approximately 10 time 10.547 meters per second squared. Wow. You should note this value is higher than the standard 9.8 meters per second squared that is experienced on the surface of Earth. Because even though the space station is further away from the Earth surface, the Earth radius will decrease. There is an inverse squared relationship between the distance and the gravitational field strength. So the RE here went down. So this went down, therefore G is going to go up and that is proved here okay so the smaller the planet's radius is the larger the gravitational field or the acceleration would be that is felt by an orbiting planet or a satellite there you go